Hi guys, welcome to Asanian. This is the second video of rational numbers as I mentioned on previous video. So first I am going to explain a continued fraction and give examples of finite and infinite type. And then we are going to solve some questions together. Let's start then. A continued fraction is an expression like this, where you have an integer it actually it doesn't have to start with an integer plus a fraction but the fraction itself is an integer plus a fraction and the denominator of that fraction is also a fraction let's say it's 1 plus 4 over 5 so an expression like this called a continued fraction one skill that I want you to learn from this video is how to convert any continued fraction into a single fraction. So you do this by working from the inside to the apps that you start with the most the sort of final denominator. This easily do it in this order if I were to put parentheses like that. And I am going to order them with number, so you can easily see how we are solving continued fraction questions. 1, 2, and the last one is 3. I wrote the question here again. This is a type of finite continued fraction question. Okay, so let's start with number 1. It says 1 plus 4 over 5. You can do this by getting common denominators or simply multiplying 1 by 5 and then adding with 4. Okay, so it's going to be 1 times 5 plus 4 over 5. If you remember PEMDAS, multiply comes first. So 1 times 5 is 5 plus 4 over 5. So the result is 9 over 5. My number 1 is 9 over 5. So my question is now 3, 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 2 over 9 over 5. So this is part 2. That's why I am going to solve part 2. It says 3 plus 2 over 9 over 5, right? As you can see, there is a division here. And I explained how to convert it into multiplying on my last video. If you want, you can check it, okay? So it's now 3 plus 2 times 5 over 5. 9. Multiply comes first. That's why I am going to multiply this part. So it's 3 plus 10 over 9. I'm going to multiply this and then add this one. So it's 3 times 9 plus 10 over 9. And this one is 37 over 9. Now the question is 2 plus 1 over 37 over 9. There is also division here. So it's going to be 2 plus 1 times 9 over 37. It equals to 2 plus 9 over 37. Let's multiply these two and then add with 9. 2 times 37 plus 9 over 37. And it's 74 plus 9 over 37. And it's 83 
over 37 okay now let's look at an example of infinite continuous fraction question so it says 2 plus x divided by 2 plus x divided by 2 plus x and it continues like that equals 3 in when solving a question like that you simply give this part this part whatever the question equals to and in this question is 3 so I am gonna write 3 here that's why my question becomes 2 plus x over 3 equals 3 and it's really easy to solve this just multiply with this 2 and then add with x okay so it is 2 times 3 plus x over 3 equals 3 so it's 6 plus x over 3 equals 3 and it's 6 plus x 3 times 3 is 9 and if I bring 6 here x would be 9 minus 6 and my x will be 3 okay let's solve exam questions and you'll see exam questions are really easy and this question is from 2017 okay so it says 3 divided by 1 minus 1 over 3 minus 3 minus 1 over 3 divided by 3 let's give them numbers like 1 2 3 and solve it step by step okay so number one it says 3 divided by 1 minus 1 over 3 I'm going to solve this part first so it's 1 minus 1 over 3 it's 1 times 3 minus 1 over 3 and it is 2 over 3 okay and what was number 1 it was 3 divided by 2 over 3 there is a division here so it becomes 3 times 3 over 2 and first result will be 9 over 2 okay this is my number 1 number 2 is easy and it's just an integer it's 2 it's 3 let's look at number 3 it says 1 over 3 divided by 3 and it becomes 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 and when we multiply them 1 over 9 will be my turp okay so the question is now 9 over 2 minus 3 minus 1 over 9 to solve this we need to get common denominators that's why there is also one here I am going to multiply this one with 2 this one with 18 and this one with 9 okay so 9 times 9 is 81 minus 3 times 18 is 54 minus 2 over 18 it's 81 minus 56 over 18 and my result will be 25 over 18 and this one is B this one is from 2015 and I am going to give numbers also here and I am going to give one number one here and number two is here 
I am going to solve separately and then I am going to divide by these two results, okay? So number one is 2 minus 2 over 3 minus 3. This is a regular ratio number question. So to solve this, we need to get common denominators. That's why I am going to write 1 in their denominators and multiply with two, 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, 6 over 3, minus 2 over 3, minus 3 times 3 is 9, 9 over 3. So it becomes 6 minus 2 minus 9 over 3, and 6 minus 11 over 3, and it's going to be negative 5 over 3. My number 1 is negative 5 over 3. Let's look at number 2. It says 1 minus 2 over 3 divided by 4. So this one is 3 times 1 minus 2 over 3 divided by 4. And it's 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 is 1 over 3, divided by 4, and it becomes 1 over 3 times 1 over 4, and it's 1 over 12. And this is my number 2. So let's divide them. Negative 5 over 3 divided by 1 over 12. So this will be 5 over 3 negative times 12 over 1. And let's cancel them with 4. It's going to be negative 5 times 4. And my result is negative 20. Okay? E. This is from 2014 and I am also give numbers to solve step by step. Okay? And number 3. Number 1 is just an integer, so I am going to leave it as it. Let's look at number 2. It says 1 divided by 1 minus 2 over 3. So it's 1 divided by 3 times 1 minus 2. 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 over 3. And it's 1 over 1 over 3. And it's 1 times 3 is 3. My number 2 is 3. Let's look at number 3. 2 minus 1 over 3 divided by 1 plus 3 over 2. So 2 times 3 minus 1 over 3 divided by 2 times 1 plus 3 over 2. This is 6 minus 1 over 3 divided by 2 plus 3 over 2. 5 over 3 divided by 5 over 2 and it becomes 5 over 3 times 2 over 5. If we cancel 5, it's going to be 2 over 3 and this is number 3. Okay. So my question is now 1 plus 3 minus 2 over 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 minus 2 over 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 2 over 3. And it's 10 over 3. And my answer is E.
Thank you for watching our Yosanya videos. I hope this video is very helpful for you guys. Rational numbers are not finished yet, so see you at the third video of rational numbers. Bye!